First of all, I can't believe that it's actually been over a year since I shared my desk setup tour video here on YouTube. Frankly, since my video, that, that desk setup tour video, um, a lot has changed. And so that's basically what this video is all about. I wanted to share with you what I changed in this space and why I did that. So without further ado, here is my new office space. Well, you know, the same old office space, but redesigned for the year 2021. This whole thing, innocently enough, started with me just trying to arrange and organize my cables. But as soon as I pulled the desk away from the wall, I realized that I probably should do some painting anyway. So I decided on a color that would complement both the wallpaper and the rest of the furniture. And after about a week of tearing everything down and painting and lots of cursing, I ended up with something like this. Welcome to my new slash old home office redesigned to better suit my needs as a content creator. Since this is technically a bedroom that has been converted into a home office space, it's not really big. So I had to come up with ways to make it seem like it's actually bigger than what it is. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to add some mirrors. I added one right here, which is a rectangular full length mirror basically, and another one right here. I chose to fill up this large empty wall with an equally large rounded mirror to soften the design just a tad bit. Having such a large mirror does give you the illusion that you are in a bigger room. This time I definitely wanted more storage space, so while keeping with the industrial feel and design, I added this. I found this industrial style shelf at Ikea and it's called the Fe you know what, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I consider this corner an expression of my love for cars, photography, and fictional giant, and maybe not so giant, robots. And this shelf also serves as a storage area for my lenses, my cameras, and also some of my bags that sit at the bottom shelf. And here's another name that I can't pronounce, but I do love this chair. I think this shelf has a lot of character and is quite affordable and also pretty easy to build. Although it did take me a little bit longer to, you know, assemble this just because of the limited space that I have. Because you messed up the first time. And also because I messed up the first time. And the second time. And the second time. One of the benefits of having this type of layout is that I am still able to maintain eye contact with my guests if I have them over for a podcast recording. I've never been a guest in a podcast before. Exciting. And because this monitor arm is um, adjustable, I can basically just move this out of the way so I can, it's not awkward and I'm trying to look at them actually, behind the monitor. move this maybe slightly a little bit right here because I can't really see you're it. You're actually not allowed to touch any of the stuff. I know, it's just that I can't, I can't really see you anymore. Anyway, so on this side of the room is where I keep my podcasting equipment. So come take a look. For podcasting, I'm using the Rode PodMic mounted on a PSA1 boom arm alongside probably one of my favorite pieces of tech, which is the Rodecaster Pro. The Rodecaster sits on top of my neat filing cabinet for storage and convenience. Along my MagSafe charger, I'm using GroveMade's wood MagSafe stand with a brass finish. It blends perfectly in the space and is also very functional. Mounted underneath the desk is the drop amplifier alongside the CalDigit TS3 Plus for easy access. For listening to music, I still like my Sennheiser 58X Jubilees that I got from drop.com and it sits on top of the GroveMade headphone stand in Walnut. I also mounted my Satechi desktop charger underneath the desk as well as this headphone holder that I found on Amazon. 
I know I'm mounting a lot of things underneath the desk, but it just keeps everything a lot cleaner. And speaking of keeping things clean, I have to briefly talk about how I manage my cables using Ergonoffice's cable management solution. Now, if you look at their website, it looks like I have it on backwards, but I actually prefer this for a good reason. Since I have it oriented this way, if anyone should sit in front of me, they don't have to look at any of the nasty cables. I even have my M1 Mac Mini mounted underneath the desk so that all the cables are just nice and clean and hidden. And since all of them are basically connected to the power strip, I just need one cable that runs down the leg and to the wall. Which means if I were to raise or lower my desk, none of the cables get tangled or pulled. Regarding the desk itself, I'm still using my same Ergonoffice suede desk at 30 by 60 size in dark walnut. And I just really, really love this desk. I also added this very fluffy area rug, which feels amazing. And it also actually helps eliminate a little bit of the echo in this room. Now, some parts of the office are basically just eye candy for me. And one of my favorite things to collect are watches. And I think I found the perfect solution for that. These watch boxes are made by a small company called Home and Hadfield. It acts both as an organizer and a display case. And underneath, there's a tray where I can put all of my other watch accessories. I love how simple the design is and how it really showcases the watches. I don't know any single person who loves watches who don't want to see their watches displayed. And depending on the mood that day, I can just open it up and choose the watch that I would like to wear. So yeah, this is definitely eye candy for me. These watch boxes are sitting on top of a TV stand that I also got from Ikea. It's from the same design family as the shelf, that's why it looks amazing. And I'm using this as storage for all my other miscellaneous gear, such as extra bags, lights, and tripods. And on each side of this console are my Edifier speakers. I love how these speakers look and sound, and since you can connect them via Bluetooth, I don't have to worry about any messy cables. This time I decided not to hang any of my backpacks, except for this one. And I'm using this very modern looking coat hanger that I found on Amazon that's made out of wood and metal. The rest of my items are stored in the closet using a shelf system from the container store. This is where I store most of my audio gear as well as my extra cables and other things that I might need around the office. And a couple of books here and there. And that concludes my home office tour for 2021. I hope you enjoyed this video or at the very least, I hope it's given you some ideas or some inspiration. I'd also like to take the opportunity to mention the two podcasts that I run. One is Coffee with Creators and the other one is the Taralets podcast, which is for my Filipino audience. Of course, everything that I've mentioned will be linked down below in the description. And since I still have a lot of things to do, I must very kindly ask you to leave. But please do take care of yourselves.